so I'm going to talk to you today about how I meal plan and how I got it to work for me. Um, this was something that did not come natural to me. It still doesn't come natural to me. And I spent years and years trying to find a way to meal plan and to budget and make it work. So um, there's actually kind of two parts to this. So this is the how I find my meals to cook, especially because I've been eating healthier lately. And um, so that's the part I'm going to show you today. And then I'm also going to do one on click list um, by Smith's. That has dramatically changed my life. I've done um, Walmart's pickup before and I just wasn't as satisfied as I am with ClickList. So if you don't know what ClickList is, um, Smith's offers where you can order all your groceries online and then just go pick them up. Oh my goodness. Totally has changed my life. So today we're just going to focus, or this piece, we are just going to focus on how I actually like go through and plan my meals. I do it in a very uh, non-traditional way. I don't look in cookbooks. Um, I don't really have a meal plan that I totally use. I, I've tried all those things and they just didn't seem to work with me. I like to spice it up. I like to do something different. I always am looking for great, good recipes, but I'm also trying to keep it in a healthy budget. So this is how it works. Pinterest is my best friend when it comes to meal planning. I actually go onto Pinterest and I have a, I have a pin or board board that I pin things on um, called healthy eating on a budget and this has several 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 things on it and I'm always always adding to it because I love it I love um, having something that totally works for me um, and I love finding new recipes I hate having the same old thing so what I kind of do is I look over and make sure we had all our meals I put I put all our meal plans on a little um, uh, post-it note. If you can tell my week before post-it notes are up here because I like to make it easiest so I can see and find them. So I actually just write everything on a little post-it for like lunch and for dinner and kind of go off of that. And so I'm actually going to first to look at my last week's and figure out what meals I didn't get to and write them down for this week because sometimes things come up. I use post-its a lot when I do this. So I'm going to add things add my meals from last week to this week that we didn't finish. Well, this week was super easy. Um, I don't have to worry about Friday or Saturday this week because Friday we have something with our friends and Saturday I have a girls night. So this was my meals and we missed three meals last week having things come up. So really I only have to plan one meal from Pinterest. The rest of it I just need to make sure everything's still good from the previous week and um, I also need to have things for lunches and for breakfast. So this should be a pretty easy meal planning week. So I'm going to go and select... Um, it's something I would like to make. Mm, you know what? I think we're gonna make this crock pot white chili recipe. Um, it looks delicious. And we have a crock pot. No, we have a ch chili cook off in a couple weeks. So I'm gonna try it and see if I need to spice it up or do anything to make it our own. But I love that it's also a healthier version. So it's got white chicken. It's healthy for everyone. So I'm gonna try this recipe this week. So usually what I do is I go right to this and this is Iowa Girl Eats. So I will also place this link below um, below everything in the comments, below, above the comments. Um, so I usually go on here and I check out what the ingredients are. This looks delicious. Super excited to try it. And so I look at all the ingredients and I write down the ingredients I need. Sometimes I just go straight to ClickList and start putting in directly what I need from ClickList. And other times I just write down on a separate post-it what I need. So I went through this recipe and I found the different things I need specifically for it. And so now I'm just going to go back and check my other recipes I'm going to use, which is in my Eat to Live part, and make sure I have everything for the rest of my dinners this week. This is one roasted chickpea, gyros, I was called gyros, um, gyros, oh, they look so delicious, I think. I have everything from this but the 
roll, and I need more salad this week too. Okay, um, so this I just need to have some flatbread. And then I also kind of just go around, like I think of what I'm missing that we usually have like for breakfast. So like we haven't had any strawberries, so I need to add more of, the, more of those um, bananas we have every single day. Um, I kind of just have a feel for what I'm missing that we have like all the time. And my husband needs bacon because he has bacon and eggs for breakfast every morning from our chickies and ducks. Um, so I kind of have like a mental list like of things that I, we live on, that like we literally live on every single day, like bread and peanut butter for the kids when I feed them. Um, yeah, so I kind of have my running list that I keep of things that I have all the time, which I eventually, I'm gonna get organized enough just to have like a regular pattern like list. Um, you'll notice in my click list one though, that it keeps all my purchases that I make a lot. So that's really nice just to add it to my cart. So it's almost like I don't need to make a list because ClickList was nice enough to keep my list. So I picked out my meal for this week, which was the chicken, white chicken chili. White chicken chili. And only four days of the meal planning this week. And like tomorrow or tonight we're having bell pepper quinoa mixes. Oh. Um, we're having euros on Tuesday. Wednesday we're having chicken, like just um, some baked chicken with zucchini. And then Tuesday or Thursday we're having white chicken chili. Super easy meal plan. It really doesn't take me too long. And it's always good to have my planner with me so I can make sure like when I'm going to be home or I make sure um, if I'm going to have like a really busy day to do like a crock pot meal those nights. So that's really important to me but it really doesn't take me that long to meal plan. I kind of sit down and Make sure it all works together. Oh, tortillas, that's one thing I need to add. Tortillas and cheese. Yes, and I randomly just think of things we need to order. So that's how I plan my meal plans. Um, that's pretty much it. I'll probably make a list of my lunches like this last week. Um, because I have kids with me, um, like this was a PB day of peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, uh, grilled cheeses one day, hot dogs one day, I make them Lunchables, like homemade Lunchables, and then um, peanut butter with bananas on Thursday. But my lunches are, I have a huge salad every day for lunch. So mine are super easy, and my breakfast, I have a smoothie every day for lunch. So I just need to make sure I have the right ingredients for my smoothie and for the kids' lunch. Makes it really, really easy and simple. So there was my meal planning.